welcome back to Rock, 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 And I'm coming to you today with a new video. As you can tell from the title, this is actually going to be three easy head wrap styles using fabric that I got from the fabric store. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on this journey together and we are going to continue to grow. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, um, be sure to turn on the bell notifications just so you are aware of when I'm posting new videos. I do post videos twice a week. And so you want to make sure you're up on them. Also, don't forget to enter my giveaway. So the giveaway is actually for people, unfortunately, only in Denver. But in the future, we're going to be all around the world. And I'm becoming to the city near, you, city near you. And you'll be able to enter in one of the international giveaways. And it's basically me giving back to my community for the holidays. Well, I'm done blabbling on. Let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be using fabric that I bought from a store in Philadelphia. There are a bunch of different fabric stores. This was actually a black guy who owned it and I saw this print and I was just like I need to have it right now in my collection of head wraps. It's so pretty. So this is about two feet wide and then it was just the or two feet long and then it was just the width of the fabric itself but you can get head wraps or fabric i should say from a bunch of different places i just happen to get mine from the fabric store i'm going to be doing a three easy head wraps it's the fall time it's the perfect time to be wearing them head wraps especially for me because i'm going to be wearing all the protective styles in the winter and the fall so i need to have my head wrap on deck to dress it up a little bit make it look a little fancy if you know what i'm saying so i went ahead and folded this in half oh here we go all right so the two halves folded in half and i'm actually going to fold it in half again the best way i think to get the style you want so for my first style, I'm going to be taking the fabric and starting in the back. So I'm going to leave the ponytail out and then I'm going to take this here and I'm not going to tie it. I'm just going to crisscross and then bring it around to tuck it under. I didn't do any twisting or anything. I'm just leaving it the way it is and then I'm just going to tuck it under. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So here is the first look. You can dress this up in many ways. You can pull your sides out on the side here or wear it just like this. It's so cute. Like this fabric is just giving me life. It goes perfect with this sweater. So here's style one. Moving on to style number two. So I actually have a whole video already on eight different scarf tutorials. Um, the scarf is a little different in the sense that the fabric is softer and it's a little bit less structured than fabric. Um, so I'll be sure to link that down below. But here goes the next style. So I'm going to take, it's still going to be folded in half and then in half again. But you want to make sure that it all lines up. So now, the first time I took it from the back, and I'm going to take it from the back again. And then I'm actually going to twist these around each other like this. And you can either have this on the side or in the middle. I think I'm going to do the side. And we're almost going to create like a flower in the front of our head. So twist it all the way to the end and then wrap around. So you wanna make sure that it stays wide and doesn't overlap so that it looks more like a round than just a lump, a clump. So I like this style because it adds a little accent in the front and it just dresses up any style. So if your hair was down, then you can wear it just like this. And I just love it. It's so cute. I can't tell at this point if it's the fabric or this style is just so cute. Super easy, like I said, doesn't take that long. Now 
Now we'll be on to the third style. This next style, all these styles are really easy. Like they're meant to take one to two minutes if you're in a rush, just throw something on if you're, especially if you're protective styling. Like for me, uh, I often wear my hair in protective styles and I'm also often thinking of ways or how I can dress up my styles just with a head wrap, a headband, a hat, something quick. So these are just those quick easy styles. So the third style we're actually going to unfold it so it's only folded in half once. And this one we're going to put on more like a head scarf. So I'm going to start in the front and I'm going to leave my hair, my hair down. And then I'm going to take this around the back and tie it. So you don't want to tie it too tight because you don't want a headache or anything. And if you have your hair in some longer braids or twists, like it would be super cute to leave the strands like this ouch, down to kind of blend in with your hair as an accent. Um, but I'm actually going to put mine up. So for this one, I'm going to be twisting like this, each side individually, and then wrapping them around my head. And what I like about this style is that it gives like almost a headband effect. So you could leave it down like this, cute, or wrap the other side up, which I'm going to do. And tuck the ends in. So this also would be cute with braids that are longer than, or braids or twists that are longer than mine. And it's time to get your edges done, but you're like, not yet. I love this little headband effect. So here is the third style. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see a part two when my hair is not in twist in the styles or the um, head wrap styles that I can do with my hair not being twist and out, um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below your favorite head wrap style and I will see you in my next upload. Toodles!